Today, we've got a really important topic to dive into fish. They're packed with healthy omega-3s, protein, and essential nutrients. But hold on, before you take that first bite, there's some crucial info you need to know. Not all fish are created equal, and picking the wrong one can actually harm more than help. So stick with us as we unveil the seven fish you should absolutely avoid and share some fantastic fish options. Plus, we'll give you some essential tips for buying fish. And here's a mind-blowing fact. There's a fish that can live up to 150 years. But trust us, you'll want to steer clear of this one. Why? Well, stay tuned to find out. Our number seven fish to avoid is, drumroll, tilapia. It's super popular in the United States, but here's the deal. The omega-6 to omega-3 ratio in tilapia isn't doing you any favors. Too much omega-6 and too little omega-3 can lead to inflammation, high blood pressure, and increased heart disease risk. Shockingly, imported tilapia often doesn't meet safety standards. The FDA has flagged exporters for sending tilapia with unacceptable levels of harmful chemicals. Some of these chemicals are carcinogenic and banned in many countries. Yikes! So next time you think about going for tilapia as your healthy fish option, think again. Moving on to number 6, king mackerel. While other mackerel types are considered healthy, king mackerel should be on your nope list. Why? High levels of mercury, that's why. Mercury is a toxic metal that accumulates and causes neurological damage, kidney problems, and developmental delays in children. King mackerel has more mercury compared to other fish because it's a predator at the top of the food chain. That means it accumulates more toxins over time, including TCBs and other harmful substances. So steer clear of king mackerel. Number 5. Orange roe. These fish can live up to 150 years. But here's the catch, pun intended, they accumulate toxins over the years, like mercury, which is bad news for humans. But it's not just mercury, orange roe can carry other contaminants too, like arsenic, cadmium, and lead. These heavy metals can cause inflammation, fatigue, brain fog, depression, and contribute to heart disease. Plus, orange roti is often overfished, which harms biodiversity and ocean ecosystems. Not a great choice. Now, let's talk about fish numbers 4, 3, and 2, swordfish, shark, and tilefish. These are big culprits when it comes to mercury content. Their long lifespans and predatory nature mean they accumulate high levels of mercury which is linked to cardiovascular disease, immune system problems, and hormone disruption. Interestingly, the Mediterranean basin has unusually high mercury levels in its fish due to its abundant mercury resources. This can be a concern for people in the region, despite the paradox of some blue zones, like Sardinia, where residents live longer and healthier lives. They tend to eat smaller fish lower on the food chain, like sardines and anchovies, which have fewer toxins. And finally, the big one, number one, eel. While it may be a delicacy, it's not the healthiest choice. Eels are notorious for absorbing toxins from their environment. For instance, a study found that toxic clothing dyes make their way into eel tissue. In Taiwan, eel populations have been found to contain high levels of cadmium, a heavy metal from the electroplating industry, causing various health problems. Other studies have even found flame retardants and plasticizers in eels destined for consumption. Moreover, many eel species are endangered due to overfishing and habitat destruction. So not only is it unhealthy, but it's also unsustainable. All right, now for the good news. Healthier fish options. These are the ones you want on your plate. Salmon. Tuna, with some considerations. Sardines. Anchovies. Cod. Trout. These fish are packed with omega-3 fatty acids that reduce inflammation, lower heart disease risk, and boost brain health. They're also rich in protein and essential nutrients. When it comes to tuna, opt for smaller, younger tuna like skipjack to minimize mercury exposure. Before we wrap up, let's talk about wild-caught versus farmed fish. Wild-caught fish are generally healthier, they live in their natural habitat, have better omega-3 to omega-6 ratios, and contain fewer contaminants, pesticides, and antibiotics. These are important considerations, especially with the growing problem of antibiotic resistance. So, whenever possible, choose wild-caught fish. You can spot the difference by looking at the color and tail shape. Wild-caught salmon have a deeper red-orange color and a larger fan tail, while farmed fish have a smaller tail from their enclosed environment. 
There you have it, seven fish to avoid and some fantastic alternatives for a healthier heart and overall well-being. Don't forget to grab your two free gifts, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, and the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Just click the link in the description to claim them. If you found this video useful or have any questions and tips to share, please leave a comment and join the Heart Disease Code community. And remember to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you never miss our latest content. Thanks for watching, and here's to a happy and heart-healthy life.